What's going on guys? Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying a pheasant tail nymph. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different than a regular pheasant tail nymph. Um, I've seen a lot of people call this American pheasant tail. Um, either way, it's a super easy um, fly to tie. I like to uh, tie them when I'm either going on a trip or I'm pretty low on pheasant tails and I just want to get a bunch tied really quick before I go hit the river. So the hook I have in the vise right now is a mustad. This is just a nymph hook. This is in a size 12 and I have a 1 8 gold bead on there and I have about 10 wraps of 0 0.015 lead free wire. Um, I think this is pretty important because this lead is going to help um, not only get it down faster, but it's also going to help the taper of the body um, instead of just putting tons and tons of thread wraps on there. So I like to put that on uh, most of my flies uh, just because it helps with the taper. The thread we're going to be using is UTC 70 denier in the olive. And we're just going to start a thread right behind this lead free wire. I'm just going to make sure that's pushed up in the back of the bead there. Just like so. I'm just going to make some wraps. As you can see already that that's already helping with the uh, taper of the body. So I'm just going to build this up a bit, put some threads up on this wire so it doesn't go anywhere. And right now I'm just kind of just building the underbody of the fly. Just like so. And the first material we're going to be tying in is our rib. And for our rib we're going to be using a small uh, we'll, we'll tie it with a, a green. We're going to tie a small green. This is the ultra wire, UTC ultra wire. And you can uh, you can tie with all different kinds of rib bodies, uh, colors. I was going to tie with olive, but I tied that in my last video, so I thought I'd change it up a bit. So I'm just going to tie this wire on the side facing towards me. Just like so. And now you can see that we have our body pretty much, uh, the underbody, excuse me, pretty much already done. Um, it's super smooth. Uh, it has a slight taper going up. Now we're gonna tie in our tail and our body section and this is just a pheasant tail this is in dyed olive and you're gonna want to get about 8 to 8 to 12 I'd say fibers I stick around there so all I'm gonna do is just pull these down and you can either just pull them straight down or you can cut them We want to try to keep all those tips aligned, just like so. Now once you have your thread right at the hook barb, you're going to want to come in, tie this. I just make a couple loose wraps first so I can get it to my desired length. For these nymphs I like to usually keep them a little bit shorter than what most people um, like to tie them, so I would usually keep it just like that. Almost the same as the uh, the hook gap, a little bit bigger than the hook gap. Now I'm just gonna bring my thread up to about a bead's length behind the bead. Now I'm just gonna grab this pheasant tail, and just make some open spiral touching wraps up the body here. Once you get to your tie-in point, you just want to tie that off. And you can cut out the rest of that. Like so. 
Now you're gonna grab your wire and you're gonna counter wrap that wire. And what this is gonna do is going to give it a little bit of a rib as well as hold down these fibers so they don't go anywhere if you get a fish. So once you bring that up, you just want to tie that off. I'm going to just helicopter that out, just like so. Now for the collar, I'm going to be using some ice dub. This is in a peacock color. This is my go-to color. I'm just going to grab a little pinch here, nothing too much. Just dub a nice little thin noodle. Put a little tad more here. Then you come in with your whip finish tool. Here with a four or five turn whip finish. Make sure that not seated down in there. Trim out any of these fibers that are sticking up. And there you have it. Super quick uh, fly to tie. Um, I usually tie these when I want to tie a bunch up really quick. They fish exactly the same as a regular pheasant tail. Um, it's just a lot simpler and you can get a, bulk, a bunch of bulk done really really quick So I hope you liked today's video guys if you do give it a thumbs up uh, Subscribe if you haven't yet leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think and we'll see you in the next one